Well, we're going to look at how to, to detect the edges of our screen so that we can avoid watching our cherries float off into nowhere. Now what the cherries have done there, they've moved along the X direction and the Y direction and they've left the canvas. So we're going to have to find a way of detecting if the X coordinate is greater than the canvas width or the Y coordinate is greater than the canvas height. And Android Studio does provide a way of doing this. Let's, let's exit this uh, activity. And if we go into our activity animation layout class, we scroll down to the bottom, we can start playing with the canvas width and height. Just before setting the cherry coordinates, what you can do is you can use the if, if statements. So we can say if the cherry x coordinate is greater than or equal to the canvas width, we're going to want to reverse the direction. So we're going to set the x direction to travel in the opposite direction, which is negative, and by one pixel at a time. But if we've got if we've got the cherry moving left after it reverses x direction, eventually it's going to fall out of this side of the screen where the x coordinate is zero. So we have to take care of that as well. So we can say if cherry x is less than or equal to zero, we have to set it on its reverse path again. So x direction is equal to plus one. Now we do the exact same thing for the y coordinate, except that we change that to canvas dot get height and it's for the cherry y and the direction is y. Now if we save this we're going to be quite happy. Let's take a look at it running. Let's go straight into the animation class and I'm going to spoil the surprise here. On the way out to the right the cherry does bounce back but it disappears off the canvas. And take a look at what happens when it bounces off the left hand side. It stays on the screen. And that's because we haven't taken into account the width of the bitmap. We need to extract the width and height of the bitmap we're using. And we can use the bitmap factory again to do that. So bitmap factory dot options options equals new bitmap factory dot options and all we want are the uh, to decode the bounds of the image so option dot in just decode bounds true we set that to true so now we're going to decode our resource but only for its width and height so we're going to say bitmap factory decode resource get resources r dot drawable dot cherry and we pass in the options that we've stated above just to return the width and the height. Let's scroll straight to the top of the class. I just want to add two more integers. That's cherry height and cherry width. So just after the bitmap factory processing, I'm going to set cherry height height to options option dot out height and cherry width equal to option out width. Wow, so much typing. 
I know you're dying to see the more animation, uh, but we have to do this. So now we've this. This is how you find out the dimensions of your image. Oh, that should be a dot. Dot cherry. Yeah. So this is how you find your width and height of your image, and and that could change depending on the resolution it's that's being used. So if you look down here. I've got uh, different density images for the same cherry image. So now we've got height and width. We're going to use the width in the x direction. So now we're going to test to say if the x coordinate, if it's greater than or equal to the canvas width minus the cherry width, then reverse direction. And in the y direction, if it's greater than or equal to the height minus the cherry height. So animation, uh, you're going to be playing around with a little bit of maths and setting things to see if they behave correctly. There's no way around that, but it's pretty exciting. So if we hit save and run, this should work. I'm pretty excited. Let's hit animate. Now let's see what happens. Ooh. Excellent. First bounce, second bounce, and uh, that's it. It's pretty hypnotic. I could sit here all day and uh, watch that move around the screen. And if you've got the same running on yours, it's something to be proud of. We've got some nice animation going on. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.